the tongue is back and today I'm going to be eating a hot pepper this is the ahi omni color and if you haven't noticed I just uh, I moved locations I just simply moved into my music room I've got the uh, I've got my Beatles Abbey Road poster right here and uh, this is where my band practices um, usually weekly but you know it just depends but um, yeah a box of angry roosters and um, it's also the only room in the house with AC because my AC currently is not working and uh, I have a window unit here so it's um, it'll be a lot better eating uh, hot peppers in a cooler environment rather than in a hot house so um, yeah this is gonna be great uh, recording in here but uh, anyways this is the ah he omni color and I received these this pepper from uh, a guy named Wicked Mike and I will put link links in the description so you can contact him to get peppers just like this one and uh, so yeah the ahi omni color is comes from uh, South America I don't remember exactly which uh, country it started started in probably Peru or somewhere around there because a lot of the ahi has come from that uh, region and it is called the omnicolor because when the plant grows the the pepper changes color several times and it does it all at different times like the different peppers on the on the plant will change colors at different times so they'll go from like a yellow to a purple, to an orange, to finally to red. And I don't know the exact um, color combinations that it goes to, but it does that, so it's called the Omni, the Omni color. Now it's not, I don't know the Scoville numbers on this, but it is not generally a, uh, uh, a very, very hot pepper from what I understand. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's pull the stem off. By the way, I am loving the uh, ahi pods. Um, the uh, they are uh, they're all capsicum macadams, and they all just are. They're not very hot pods, but they are very flavorful pods. Um, I know it's pretty small, but I still want to open it up and kind of see what goes on inside there. Close that knife. Don't cut myself. Wow, lots of seeds in this one. Try and get some of them seeds out. Bunch just kind of sitting right there at the top. I mean, if they're going to come out easily, I might as well just take them out. It wants to go. Yeah, that was nice and easy removing those seeds. Yeah, the seeds tend to make uh, peppers really bitter. And they don't really, and I think that's just about all of them. There might be some more seeds actually behind there, but uh, that's kind of what the inside looks like. Lots of placenta in there actually. For a smaller pepper, there's a lot of placenta. It looks to be nice and shiny, nice and oily. Um, very, oh, that is just wonderful smelling. Oh. I can sit there and just smell this pod. Very, 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 very fruity smelling pod. Well, let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Trying to get all of it. I'm gonna piece like stuck in the back of my teeth. That was absolutely delicious. Very, very fruity with kind of a and kind of had a bit of an apple flavor to it. It didn't have that kind of tartness that you get from an apple, 
but it just had that generalized kind of apple flavor. Absolutely just delicious pop. I mean, I could sit there and just pop these all day. They're very, very small. Um, that's about the average length that one and you know they're they're just you know you know only just a few centimeters or inches long or whatever so smaller pods they don't pack a lot of heat right now this one it's just on the tongue but it's like a deep burn it's not hot but it's just it's just like a it's not a stingy burn it's just it's just a nice like deeper burn like it's really you can tell it's kind of gone from on the top of the tongue to like down like the inside of the tongue and it's just enveloping it kind of like when you put um i guess the only way to describe it is when you're putting um like icy hot or something like that like you like you, you put it on like your back or your your arm or wherever you're you're hurting and it just deep it just penetrates and really goes in deep that's what this is like it's just it penetrates your tongue goes deep in there it's a nice warming sensation <coughs> not very hot it's already peaked um very very mild mild pepper i mean it's i, I wouldn't even uh say this is as hot as a jalapeno um about a one i'd, I'd probably give it a one maybe a two on heat i'd say i'd say well i would give this one a one on heat but on flavor this thing knocks it out of the park very very fruity and kind of that apple-y type flavor very very lovely pod um this would make um this would be really good to cook with if you wanted something to give a lot give it a lot of flavor but not a lot of heat this would this would add so much flavor to your dish and you could add a whole bunch of them you know and just add a whole mess of flavor and a tiny bit of heat to your to your to your cooking amazing pod um big thanks to uh wicked mike for sending those pods uh my way you can get pods uh for 18 dollars you can get a small flat rate box of pods and you can order all one kind of pod you can order um several different kinds you can order up to five different kind of pods and for 18 dollars free shipping he will send you a box filled to the brim with pods in there you can't get a you can't get a deal a better deal like that that is a really good deal on uh really good homegrown uh, peppers. So uh, thanks again for uh, Wicked Mike. And I will put links in the description so you can contact him to get peppers. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to keep it spicy. And I will see you in the next video.